Hi friends, welcome back to All on Unlaw. Today, I'm going to talk about Jarish Hexmus reaction. Okay, guys. So J H reaction, J H reaction. So this is about what you call um, just a medical video lecture to get an idea, and this is very important for USML students and for medical students. So Jarish Hexmus reaction. There were two scientists. One that is a Jarish Adolf Jarish, I think, and one is a Carl um, Hexmer. This guy was from Austria. And this guy was from Germany. Okay, so guys, so they found the reaction seen in the body in a patient with a syphilis. Syphilis treated with mercury. Treated with the mercury. Later, it was found to be with what you call penicillin. Right, guys. So this is what is Jarish Hexmer reaction is. So medically, to define JH reaction, it's nothing but it's a release of what you call uh, endotoxins, endotoxins, endotoxins by the killing of uh, a bacteria, especially spirochetes. When spirochetes are killed because of what you call, uh, if this is a spirochete, okay, and if it has an endotoxin inside and when it's killed the endotoxin is released into the body and this endotoxin gives a reaction to the body okay so that's known as JH reaction that's the Jarish Hexmer's reaction okay guys got it now remember let me clear this okay Actually, it was found when the when they were treating the syphilis, syphilis with penicillin, with penicillin. Okay, with the penicillin. Okay, uh, usually what happens in this uh, what you call a reaction is the patient might experience what you call it within a few hours of uh, first dose of antibiotic as a penicillin or a tetracycline, remember even a tetracycline, this can be asked in USMLE tetracycline, the patient will experience fever, okay, raised body temperature, chills, okay, chills, chills, then we have rigors, okay, then we have rigors, hypotension, hypotension, okay, there might be what you call skin lesions, skin lesion, okay, skin lesions, right, or of myalgia, myalgia, flushing, okay, or uh, tachycardia, increased heart rate, tachycardia, tachycardia, then we have headache, the patient can experience headache, okay, right, there are other features like a hyperventilation, vasodilation, there are other features also, so guys, this is really very important, okay, so now what happens how would you what you call uh, how would you uh, sorry what's the pathophysiology behind this as i said there is a release of cytokines so there is a release of cytokines cytokines in a period of exposition and a tumor necrosis factor alpha okay interleukin 6 and interleukin 8 okay so these are the things that you should know right so remember this is not the only disease in which you see the jh reaction there are some other diseases uh, like uh, borreliosis leptospirosis okay then we have uh, what you call um, in other diseases okay um, like uh, brucellosis typhoid okay q fever cat scratch disease like the, that is uh, due to the bartonellosis right so these are the things that you should know okay so how would you treat that? What's the treatment? Treatment is remember this is a prophylaxis. You can give uh, anti-inflammatory agents, anti-inflammatory, okay, uh, to stop the and you can give what's uh, aspirin, okay, aspirin. Uh, you can give what you call uh, prednisone, 
okay prednisone right so these are the things you should look for how it is how it is treated for you assembly remember um what you need to do is just diagnose the disease correctly okay and how would you treat and that's also really very important okay guys and this is not for the patients getting treated with this uh, video okay guys so just for you assembly students that's it thank you so much for watching this video and take care